Yo, 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 color is anywhere and everywhere. Each color has its meanings and can be used to tell stories, catch the eye of others, design products, and much, much more. Now, color blocking was big in the 80s and 90s, and I can see why people get intimidated by these two words. But it is pretty simple, and the good news is you're probably already doing it like a pro without even knowing it. So today, I'm going to teach you how to use color blocking and color theory to compose some clean outfits. And I'm probably gonna ruin the rest of your life because it's gonna be all you're thinking about. Hell, my buildings are color blocked. Okay, so like I said earlier, color blocking applies to all types of design. And so to understand how to design your five flame emoji outfits, you're gonna wanna understand the color wheel. Yes, 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 let's take it back to elementary school where we'd all get excited when the teacher pulls this out. We learn how to play the recorder, went through those I Spy books. Oh man, the nostalgia. And those are the good old days. But we also learned how to paint and mix colors. So I'm gonna run through this real quick because I don't wanna bore you, man. But basically, there are three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. And combining any of those three colors gives you your secondary colors. Do you know what happens when you combine red and yellow? Great! You get orange. Red and blue make purple, and blue and yellow make green. Now each of these as well, you can adjust the hue of the color itself by adding white or black, or basically changing its luminance. So obviously red and white make pink, adding black to orange gives you brown, etc, etc. You can also affect the color by adjusting its saturation, or basically how vibrant, rich, or bold the color is. And if you guys didn't already know, all the colors combined equal white, and black is simply the absence of color. So I'm gonna link this website so you can see how each color gets affected, and you can pick and choose the main types of ways you can color block, play with it so you can get familiar with the colors. So now that we know how colors are made, let's talk about the first way. It is the most simple way and it is pretty much impossible to mess up. I'm talking about contrasting. Yeah, contrasting is basically how it sounds. We are going to stick to black and white for now because those are the main contrasting colors. White shirt, black pants, plus a pair of black or white sneakers. By the way, black and white are such a huge contrast. If you walk out with a white shirt and black pants, you already look like you know what you're doing. There's a reason why the Vans Old Schools look so great your Saint Laurent teddy jacket. Each of these use the simple concept of contrasting black and white to create a clean, minimal piece. But like I said earlier, you can completely change a color by changing its luminance and saturation. Lighter, making it more pastel, and darker, making it, you know, post breakup teenager. So with that, you can use that to add color to your outfit while making it contrast. Let me explain. Light wash denim with a dark olive green piece still follows the rule of contrasting because the top is still in the spectrum of being a dark color. And the light denim is of course light. Hey man, just remember, light and dark. It doesn't have to be black or white. I mean, it's the same reason why a raw denim and a white t-shirt still works. Raw denim is basically black in certain lighting conditions, but really it is a blue color. So contrasting it with a super light tone like a white t-shirt still follows the rule of contrast. So now let's dive into the super fun part of color blocking and to really step up your style game. Complementary colors. Check out that site linked in the description. Select complementary colors and you guys will see that complementary colors are on the opposite sides of the color wheel. They complement each other like fast cars and happiness. You gotta be really delicate. <laughs> Colors are used together to brighten each other up. It's really hard to explain, so let's just throw some fits together. My favorite is red and green, but also you can change the tone of one color. So I'm gonna roll with a classic fall vibe, military cargo pants with your Jordan bread once. A classic fit that works beautifully. Now we got orange and blue or your IG look. Now changing the blue's hue, you can make it teal complemented with orange, which is what you see in all IG pictures and travel videos, and for good reason. The colors complement each other, resulting in a super aesthetic, clean look. And this is why I like rocking my royals with my orange staple shirt. And the dapper fellas are really gonna understand this one. We all know navy suits look amazing with brown dress shoes. Well, navy is blue with its luminance darkened, and brown is also orange with its luminance darkened as well. So those pieces still complement each other. So bro, pick a color, figure out its complementary color, and you can adjust its hue, shade, tone, those are all the same words, and still pull off a super clean complementary look. Now before we get into the next way to color block, it can actually be a lot to think about, and sometimes I just like buying pieces that are already color blocked itself. And if this is the case with you, if you get a color blocked shirt, wear very neutral pants. And if you got a color blocked pair of pants, then your top should be very neutral and not very loud at all. So that is why I want to talk to you guys about Black Taylor, who is the sponsor of this video today. As you guys know, cargos are like rice to me. I can't live without it. And my go-to place to cop cargo pants is from Black Taylor. They have so many unique design cargos with awesome customer service, and they even have cargos that are already color blocked. So like I said earlier, military cargo pants with the bread ones, oof, are my go-to, and Black Taylor is a perfect place to go. So if you guys are looking for a neutral pair of cargo pants or your bold color blocked ones, 
Click the link in the description. Make sure to use my discount code to save some of that money because it is my go-to place to pick up some cargos. Make sure you click the link in the description and let's keep it moving. Next up is the monochromatic aesthetic. Look, this really ain't my thing too much unless it's the black tonal look. But basically, monochromatic is where you select one color on the wheel and change the shading of that color to compose a clean outfit. It's very simple to follow. I personally like to keep it pretty mild. I wouldn't really stray out of cream, grayscale, or olive green, but that's just me. Now, next up, we got analogous colors which sit next to each other on the color wheel. I mean, this outfit right here is already kind of an out, kind of. Kind of in and out. Alright, so this outfit here. I can't talk. Okay, so this outfit right here pretty much follows the analogous color blocking technique. Now you guys can't see my bottoms, I'm wearing underwear, but analogous colors follows three colors that sit next to each other. These are just two, so if I wore like a blue bandana, this would really follow the analogous color blocking technique. But I don't like to go too crazy with that. I usually like to stick with two colors that sit next to each other on the color wheel. But you do you, man. If you like what you like and you feel confident wearing it, just roll with it, bro. Now next up is something I don't see people talking about when it comes to color blocking. I mean, everyone does it anyways, but I guess I'm just gonna explain it. So it's something I like to call monoluminance, or basically just one tone. It's either rolling with just light colors or just dark colors. For example, I really like wearing a salmon shirt, light denim, and a pair of white sneakers. All of these are of a lighter tone, salmon being red combined with white, light wash denim being blue combined with white, as well as white sneakers being white sneakers. Same applies to the darker look. Yes, I know this can be a little bit complicated, but test it out, bro. It's fashion, wear what you want. I really don't understand how people be getting upset about clothes. And I also gotta throw some bonus tips in here. Think about the little things like your skin undertone. I'm sure you guys have probably been thinking why silver looks better on some people and why gold looks better on some other people. It all depends on your skin undertone. And if you're like me and wear gold a lot, that means you have a warmer skin undertone. Plus, you can also use your hair to color block as well and just wear your typical accessories. So what's perfect are fanny packs, bandanas, extended belts, and crew socks. These can be used to add a splash of color and to be used to contrast or complement another item on your outfit. <sighs> Jesus. Well, fellas, I hope that was worth the wait. This video is a little bit intimidating because it's so hard to organize all these thoughts and make it flow well so you guys can understand. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys give this video a like. Comment down below what's your favorite color blocking technique. Subscribe to the channel and uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram, bro. What are you doing, man? And until then, stay flying. I'm out, bro. Peace.